<laughs> and here we are, some Wisconsin boys in the West. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, brother. So this is our friend Jack Dubois. We met, when was it, last winter when we were riding together? Yeah. Yeah, I kind of, I was familiar with you guys, obviously, from back home and stuff. Heard lots about you. And then, yeah, we, we kind of met out on the mountain last year. And I saw Jack eating a bunch of these bars from the gas station and stuff like that. And I'm like, hey, you know... Uh, my family owns this business. We make these really clean label bars. So I, I gave you a couple and you really liked them. And, and that's kind of how we kicked it off. We were on a sweet ride that day with Muskoka Freerider, Kale Kusurki back in the spring. And, you know, I've tried like every protein bar out there. And I was stoked to try the possible bars and then to have the chance to tour the farm this summer go down there with you Dylan that was so cool that was super cool to see all of SP and everything that you guys do at standard process was super cool and the farming aspect of it too like I never knew what all went into and the levels of the organic uh, yeah. farm that you guys have going on there but extremely cool it's definitely inspiring for me to get on this clean health kick this year in 2024 and uh, Man, stoked to have you guys with Possible supporting that. Yeah, it's really cool what you're up to, Jack, with the freestyle skis too, and then living out here in Alpine, Wyoming, and shredding sleds all winter. You wanna talk a little bit about that? Yeah, yeah, so I just uh, started competing with freestyle jet skis, um, and then just really, in the last few years, gotten into backcountry sledding. Um, you know, grew up sledding like you guys in, in Wisconsin and the UP and stuff, and it's just a whole different world out here, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, once I came out here, it was kind of game over, but um, you know, one of the biggest things for me has just been, you know, keeping up with my nutrition and making sure that, you know, I'm putting the right whole foods in my body um, and getting the, you know, on the, whether I'm on the water doing backflips or out here in the backcountry, you know, really draining sports, really, you know, physically exhausting. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just really important that we're, we're taking care of our bodies and, and fueling ourselves with the proper nutrition. Yeah, and snowmobiling is so physical. It's really important. So we're going to be talking a lot about that today about hydration, about a lot of things that we've learned over the years um, that keep us going day after day after day out here in the hills. So let's have a little talk about the avalanche conditions, do a transceiver check, and then get up there. It's a blue sky day. Yeah. And lots of pow, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
Thanks, boys. For sure. A lot of those today, no yeah. doubt about that. <laughs> Storm's starting to roll in. I think we're gonna get nuked on again. Yeah. I think it's time for a possible bar. I think you're right. Yeah, yeah. dude. I am absolutely time. starving. <laughs> Could use a little fuel. Uh, Jack, you wanna talk a little bit about the farm uh, yeah. down in Palmyra and how you guys grow some of the ingredients that go into the bars? Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, we have a 900 acre um, certified organic farm regenerative farm in Palmyra, Wisconsin, uh, down south of these guys a little bit. Um, we grow 80% of the raw base for our products right there on the farm. You know, that's something that pretty much no other company can say that they do. Um, so it's just really cool to see the ingredients coming, you know, right from that farm, you know, into the products, into the bars, into the pre-workout and things like that. So we grow over 20 different vegetables. Um, you know, we do a lot of cover cropping, uh, crop rotations, extensive crop rotations. Um, we spread a lot of compost and things like that um, to just make sure that we're giving back more to the soil um, than we're taking away. And what that allows us to do is grow the most nutritionally dense crops and in turn, you know, create um, the most nutritionally dense products through, through doing that. So um, it's something that's just probably the most rewarding part of my job. and. Uh, yeah, I just really think it sets us apart. I mean, the vertical integration, you know, starting from the farm, but going throughout our processing facilities, you know, our, our proprietary manufacturing processes and things like that. Um, our R&D facility down in North Carolina, a dedicated research facility that makes sure that we're moving forward and, and innovating as much as we can with our ingredients and our products. Um, so we're, we're very vertically integrated, um, you know, from, from the farm all the way to the bottle. So. And that's something that I never realized is really the quality of ingredients matters. You know, you got to think of the soil that the stuff's coming from. And in, in a lot of cases, that soil is just sucked, drive all its nutrients mm -hmm. versus the processes that you guys do between crop rotation and cover cropping and everything yeah. else really makes the end product that much better. And you yeah. feel it too. You really do. You know, the way that we're farming in the U.S. right now is we're using a ton of you know, synthetic anhydrous, petroleum-based fertilizers, and that's what these crops are being sustained by. Um, but, you know, we really try to feed our crops and our soil, like you said, through the compost, through the cover cropping, and with those crop rotations, um, organically, you know, sustainably. Um, and I, I think it really makes a huge difference with our crops and in turn with our products. Yeah, that is so cool. It was beautiful when we were down at the farm during harvest season. Uh, it was awesome to spend some time down there. Thanks for giving us a tour. Now yeah. we're ripping sleds in the pow, which is awesome. So let's crush a bar or two. Uh, we fuel up after digging out of all these stucks. We were kind of down in this creek for the better part of the day. Dropped off the ridge a little early. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we've been fighting for sure, but now we're kind of into the honey hole and the snow is awesome. It just keeps getting better as we go up.
This is the tenth stuck of the day. Yeah, and <laughs> a boy deep today, boys. Let's talk a little bit about the possible bars and the rest of the possible products, and tell people exactly what you guys have going on. Because I mean, we think it's really cool, and we've been on the bars for a couple of months now. They've been awesome. Yeah, so these are uh, really clean label bars. Um, we have our own farm in Palmyra, Wisconsin. Uh, we were just out there last fall, you know, so it's pretty crazy to think, honestly, we were just pulling beets out of the ground on the farm just a couple months ago. And now here we are consuming the products out on the mountain. Yeah. Um, you know, starting the morning off with some beet pre-workout and now onto the bars. Uh, we have a snack bar and a meal bar. Uh, it's more of like a, a meal replacement. The snack bar is really good too. Um, it comes in cashew date turmeric. Um, there's a beet bar and then there's a chocolate almond bar as well. So yeah, I think it's really important to stress too, like we're a brand that supports backcountry snowmobilers and motorists in general. And you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of brands out there, right. That are trying to get us kicked out of the backcountry. So just to have that confidence in a brand that's supporting people like you and I is really refreshing too. You know, a lot of people overlook snowmobiling, especially backcountry snowmobiling as, and don't realize how physical it really is. So. For Dude, sure. that's a great point. And if you guys could think of something that's more physically exhausting, like change our mind. I mean, yeah. when you're Maybe moto. stuck like <laughs> this all the time though, and like digging out, it uses so many different yeah. muscles. And for guys who have a limited amount of time to ride, like you want to make the most of these days out here. You don't want to be gassed two hours into the ride, can barely hang on to the bars because you're just eating Snickers and drinking Cokes, you know, on the way here. Yeah, like, yeah. To fuel your body properly, like, you want to be able to last out here a full day, a full tank of gas, to be able to perform, to make the most out of your days on the snow. Because we all know they're limited. Absolutely. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, we could have a snack here, recoup, and we'll get to this and get to shredding some more pile. <laughs> Woo! 
Man, can you tell it's been a deep couple of days. The trailer is full of snow. The sleds are packed with snow. We're going to need to crank the heat and dry these things out tonight. This thing is a freaking ice chest, that is for sure. But we are so stoked to have all these storms rolling in and all of this fresh snow. It's just a dream come true. It seemed like it wasn't going to happen, but now it's here and it sets us up for such an awesome winter ahead. So, so awesome. Thanks for riding the last couple of days, Jack. It has been yeah, man. awesome to Thanks. link again. Yeah, it's great to be working with you guys this year, you know, getting you on the possible products. And it's great to see motor enthusiasts really starting to take the nutrition seriously. You know, that's really refreshing to me. You see a lot of guys that are serious power sports athletes and they do not take their nutrition seriously at all. So it's great to see you guys out there, you know, pushing for healthy uh, power sports enthusiasts. And uh, I think that's a great thing. So that's why we're telling this story today, you guys. We've known Jack for a couple of years. He's a great friend of ours. And we're just getting to know more about his company and what they're doing. And they're supporting the power sports industry. So check out their products, mypossible.com. You're probably going to save some money if you order your bars online instead of buying one at the gas station every day. They're delicious and they're really good for you. Check them out, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week. Show what the